Hello everyone, West Virginia and Idaho have petitioned the U.S. Supreme Court to review rulings that blocked state laws preventing transgender athletes from participating in sports. This decision, if taken up by the Supreme Court, could significantly impact women's sports nationwide, as stated by West Virginia Attorney General Patrick Morrissey during a briefing at the state capitol in Charleston on Thursday. The Supreme Court has yet to decide whether to hear the cases, which involve separate lawsuits filed on Thursday. These cases pertain to transgender athletes wishing to compete on female-designated teams at the K-12 and college levels. In West Virginia, the 4th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled 2-1 to in April that the state's ban on transgender athletes violated Becky Pepper Jackson's rights under Title IX, the federal law prohibiting sex-based discrimination in schools. Pepper Jackson, a 14-year-old who has identified as a girl since the third grade and is on puberty-blocking medication, challenged the law signed by Governor Jim Justice in 2021. Idaho was the first state to ban transgender women and girls from participating in women's sports in public schools, colleges, and universities in 2020. The American Civil Liberties Union ACLU, and Legal Voice filed a lawsuit on behalf of Lindsay Hecox, who aimed to join the Boise State University track team. Another plaintiff, a Boise area high school athlete, expressed concerns that the law could subject her to invasive tests to prove her biological sex if questioned. In August 2023, the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals upheld an injunction blocking Idaho's law while the lawsuit proceeds. Idaho Attorney General Raul Labrador criticized activists opposing the law, stating they are pushing a radical social agenda that sidelines women and girls in their own sports. Labrador emphasized Idaho's commitment to ensuring fairness in women's sports, while Morrissey mentioned close collaboration with Labrador in filing the petitions. Morrissey believes these cases offer a significant opportunity for the Supreme Court to take action. The issue of sports participation is a key aspect of ongoing legislative and legal battles concerning transgender rights in the U.S. Many Republican-controlled states have implemented restrictions on transgender participation in sports, gender-affirming health care for minors, and access to certain bathrooms and locker rooms. West Virginia and Idaho are among at least 24 states with laws restricting transgender women and girls from competing in designated women's sports. Morrissey stressed the need for the Supreme Court to address the matter, calling it a case about fair play and common sense. In response, the ACLU, ACLU of West Virginia, Lambda Legal, and Cooley Law Firm issued a joint statement defending Pepper Jackson's right to participate in sports without discrimination, affirming their commitment to presenting their case to the court. Stay tuned for more updates on Total Sports Newsroom.